Hey there, this is Nick again. So I've had some questions recently about the F flush function call from C. This is a routine that we can call when we want to force output to be sent to whatever destination we're sending it to with something like printf. And let me show you a simple piece of test code that helps demonstrate what F flush does. So here's a program, it's called go.c. It has a single line of output which says print out this message. And then it goes into an infinite loop. This while loop will run forever. So if you run this, you would expect to see this message appear on your output. And then the program will just sit there and wait forever. So let's compile this. And let's run it. And we see that it's in an infinite loop. It's not doing anything. It's not coming back to the prompt. But it did not show us the message that we asked it to print. And that can be confusing, particularly if it, you're debugging your program. Typically, you might do something like say, hey, I want to um, print a message when I'm at this point in my program so I can tell if I got to that point. And in running this, I would conclude I never got this far in my program, and that's a false conclusion. Now, typically, when we print something, we put a new line on the end. And if we do that, we see our message immediately. So what's the difference here between having a new line or not having a new line? Well, the difference is that output when we say printf is actually what we call buffered. The output that we ask to print to standard out in this case, our display, doesn't come to the display immediately. It goes into a holding pool, a buffer. And when that buffer gets filled up, it'll dump everything out at once. It's an efficiency consideration. But if we print out a new line that backslash n, it will go ahead and it will flush the buffer out right then because that's usually what people want is they want to see what they printed after they put out a new line. But if we don't want to print a new line and we just run this code, which is the original code, we're not going to see this output ever because the loop's going to sit there and the program's never going to exit. That's the other thing that flushes buffers is when the program exits. So what we can do is we can say, I want to force a flush on standard out. That's the stream that printf writes to. And by putting that F flush in there, I can run this program. And now as soon as that F flush executes, we see the message and it goes into an infinite loop. So there's two immediate reasons for doing this. One is to force a message to appear on your screen immediately. If you're debugging, you're trying to put in checkpoints and say, this is where I am in my program. The other thing we can use this for, though, is if, for example, you're writing to a file and you want that output to go into the file immediately, rather than waiting for more output to be generated, um, we can do an F flush on whatever stream we're using to write to that file. Um, because if your program doesn't exit, if you don't write too much stuff that forces the buffer to be flushed, or you don't print a new line, the stuff that you've printed will basically stay in that buffer until, um, until one of those three things happens. So we can use F flush to force that out. Okay, hope that helps. Talk to you next time. Thanks.